For other uses, see Mumtaz Mahal. Mumtaz Mahal was a Mughal empress and chief consort of Emperor Shah Jahan. The Taj Mahal in Agra was constructed by her husband as her final resting place. Born as Ayuman Bainu Begum in Agra in a family of Persian nobility as a daughter of Abdul Hassan Asaf Khan, making her a niece and later daughter-in-law of Empress Nir Jain, the wife of the Emperor Jahangir. Ayuman Bainu Begum was married at the age of 19, on May 10, 1612, to Prince Karam, later known as Emperor Shah Jahan, who conferred upon her the title Mumtaz Mahal. Though betrothed to Shah Jin in 1607, she ultimately became his second wife in 1612 and was his favorite. She died in Burnpur in the Deccan during the birth of their fourteenth child, a daughter named Gaurera Begum. Mumtaz Mahal mothered fourteen children by Shah Jin, including Aurangzeb, the son who temporarily succeeded Shah Jin until deposed by his brother and the imperial prince Dara Shaiko, the heir apparent anointed by Shah Jin and Janara Begum. The Imperial Princess. Biography Ayuman Bainu Begum was born in Agra in a family of Persian nobility as a daughter of Abdul Hassan Asaf Khan, making her a niece of Empress Nir Jain, the wife of the Emperor Jahangir. Her older sister, Parwar Khanum, married Sheikh Farid, the son of Nawab Qutubuddin Kokka, the governor of Badun, who was also the Emperor Jahangir's foster brother. Empress Mumtaz was religiously a Shia Muslim. In 1607 AD, Prince Karam, also known as Shah Jahan, was betrothed to Ayuman Bainu Begum who was just 14 years old at the time, but would nonetheless become the unquestioned love of his life. They would, however, have to wait five years before they were married in 1612 AD, on a date selected by the court astrologers as most conducive to ensuring a happy marriage. After their wedding celebrations, Karam finding her in appearance and character elect among all the women of the time, gave her the title Mumtaz Mahal Begum. 18 AH The intervening years had seen Karam take two other wives. But by all accounts however, Karam was so taken with Mumtaz that he showed little interest in exercising his polygamous rights with the two earlier wives, other than dutifully siring a child with each. According to the official court chronicler, Motamid Khan, the relationship with his other wives had nothing more than the status of marriage. The intimacy, deep affection, attention and favor which His Majesty had for the cradle of excellence exceeded by a thousand times what he felt for any other. Mumtaz Mahal had a deep and loving marriage with Shah Jin. Even during her lifetime, poets would extol her beauty, grace and compassion. She was Shah Jin's trusted companion, traveling with him all over the Mughal Empire. His trust in her was so great that he even gave her his imperial seal, the Murazar. Mumtaz was portrayed as having no aspirations to political power in contrast to her aunt, Empress Nir Jain, the chief consort of Emperor Jahangir, who had wielded considerable influence in the previous reign. A great influence on him, apparently often intervening on behalf of the poor and destitute, she also enjoyed watching elephant and combat fights performed for the court. It was quite common for women of noble birth to commission architecture in the Mughal Empire, so Mumtaz devoted some time to a riverside garden in Agra. Despite her frequent pregnancies, Mumtaz travelled with Shah Jin's entourage throughout his earlier military campaigns and the subsequent rebellion against his father. She was his constant companion and trusted confidant, leading court historians to go to unheard lengths to document the intimate and erotic relationship the couple enjoyed. In their 19 years of marriage, they had 14 children together, seven of whom died at birth or at a very young age. When Shah Jin travelled from Balapur fort to Baranpur, mother of Mtsarzam and elder daughter of Chakzadam Tsabadi Erzam and Safavi, alias Shah Nawaz Khan of the Safavid dynasty, the princess Dinraz Bainu Begum, wife of Aurangzi along with Mumtaz and cousin brother Shah Beg Khan, along with military personnel, stayed three nights near Argin at Highwalked before the birth of their fourteenth child. Mumtaz Mahal died in Baranpur in 1631 AD while giving birth to her fourteenth child. She had been accompanying her husband while he was fighting a campaign in the Deccan Plateau. Her body was temporarily buried at Baranpur in a wall pleasure garden known as Zainabad originally constructed by Shah Jin's uncle Denial on the bank of the Tapti River. 
the contemporary court chroniclers paid an unusual amount of attention to Mumtaz Mahal's death and Shah Jin's grief at her demise. In the immediate aftermath of his bereavement, the emperor was reportedly inconsolable. Apparently after her death, Shah Jin went into secluded mourning for a year. When he appeared again, his hair had turned white, his back was bent, and his face worn. Shah Jin's eldest daughter, Juanara Begum, gradually brought him out of grief and took the place of Mumtaz at court. Her personal fortune was divided by Shah Jin between Janara Begum, who received half and the rest of her surviving children. Varanpa was never intended by her husband as his wife's final resting spot. As a result, her body was disinterred in December 1631 and transported in a golden casket escorted by her son Shah Shuja and the head lady-in-waiting of the deceased empress back to Agra. There it was interred in a small building on the banks of the Yamuna River. Shah Jin stayed behind in Baranpa to conclude the military campaign that had originally brought him to the region. While there, he began planning the design and construction of a suitable mausoleum and funerary garden in Agra for his wife. It was a task that would take more than 22 years to complete, the Taj Mahal. A crater was named in her honor on asteroid 433 Eros, along with another one after her husband. Citations References Koch, Eber. The Complete Taj Mahal, and the Riverfront Gardens of Agra. Thames and Hudson Limited PPA 288 pages. ISBN A0-500-34209-1A, Preston, Diana and Michael. A Teardrop on the Cheek of Time. London, Doubleday PPA 354 pages. ISBN A978-0-385-60900-1. External links, media related to Mumtaz Mahal at Wikimedia Commons.